Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we will be solving another very very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will multiply first radicand numerator and denominator by 2. So I will multiply by 2 in the denominator also. So I can write our equation cube root of 2 times x 2x 2 times 11 22. 30 times 2, 60, plus cube root of x plus 14 over 60, equal to cube root of x plus 12 over 5. Now using property from radicals, nth root of a over b, anytime we can write nth root of a, over nth root of b. So I can write our equation as cube root of 2x plus 22 over cube root 60 plus cube root of x plus 14 over cube root 60. And RHS will split, we will write cube root x plus 12 over cube root 5. Now we will multiply both sides, cube root 60. So I will multiply here in LHS with cube root 60. In the RHS also, cube root 60. So our denominator from LHS will be over. Cube root 60 will be cancelled out. So I can write our equation as cube root of 2x plus 22 plus cube root of x plus 14. This will be equal to cube root of 60 over 5 times cube root x plus 12 which will give us cube root 12. I will write here cube root 2x plus 22 plus cube root x plus 14 will be equal to cube root 12 times x plus 12. Now we can factor 12 as 4 times 3. So our equation will become cube root 2x plus 22 plus cube root x plus 14 equal to cube root 4 times 3x plus 12. Now I will use substitutions. Let us say first radicant equal to a cube and second radicand we can consider b cube. Now I will find out a cube plus b cube value. So we can write 2x plus 22 is a cube, b cube is x plus 14. If I will add I will get 3x plus 22 plus 14 36 or we can write 3 times x plus 12 which is available here. So instead of 3 times x plus 1 in RHS we will write a cube plus b cube. Now we will write our equation as cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. This is cube root. Now cube root and cube will be over. So in LHS we will write a plus b only. So I can write a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now I will consider 
cubing both sides. But before that, friends, if you are an Olympiad aspirant or planning to do preparation for SOF, Crest, Unicus, Silver Zone, Asset, Indian Talent Olympiad, Hummingbird from grade 2 to grade 10, then Olympiad Success offers you live interactive sessions, QIQs, tests and many more. Please check out the description box for further details and use referral code GYAN15 to get 15% discount. Let's come back to our problem. So I will write our equation a plus b equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So whole power 3, whole power 3. Now we will cancel cube root with cube. So we will get our equation as a plus b whole cube. This will be equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Let's apply a plus b whole cube identity. I will write a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b. This will be equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Let's take all the terms to RHS. So 4a cube minus a cube, 3a cube. 4b cube minus b cube, 3b cube, minus 3ab, a plus b, equal to 0. Now equation is divisible by 3. Let's divide first. So I will write a cube plus b cube minus ab, a plus b, equal to 0. Let's apply a cube plus b cube formula also. So I can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab. And then we have minus ab times a plus b equal to 0. a plus b is looking common. Let's take a plus b common out. So we will get a square plus b square minus ab minus ab equal to 0 or we can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus 2ab equal to 0. Now a square plus b square minus 2ab is a minus b whole square. So we can write a plus b times a minus b whole square equal to 0. So from here we will get two equations. Either a plus b will be equal to 0 or a minus b whole square will be equal to 0. So from this equation we will get a equal to negative b. And from this equation we will get a equal to b. Now a and b was our substitution. If I will write a cube was 2x plus 22 and b cube was x plus 14. Now I will apply the values. So before that I will consider cubing both sides. So let me write here a equal to minus b. Consider cubing both sides. I will get a cube equal to minus b cube. And from this equation also, we will consider cubing both sides. And here we will be getting a cube equal to b cube. Let's apply the values of a cube and b cube. So I will write here a cube equal to minus b cube. a cube was 2x plus 22 equal to minus of b cube x plus 14. So I can write 2x plus 22. This will be equal to minus x minus 14. Now we will take minus x to the LHS and plus 22 to the RHS. So I will write 2x plus x 
equal to minus 14 minus 22 we will get 3x equal to negative 36 divide both sides by 3 we will get our answer x equal to negative 12 now we will consider a cube equal to plus b cube let me write here a cube equal to b cube a cube was 2x plus 22 and b cube x plus 14. Now we will take x to the LHS, 22 to the RHS. So 2x minus x equal to 14 minus 22. So left hand side will get x, RHS will be negative 8. So our final answer becomes x equal to negative 8 and negative 12. Now we will verify our answers. So let me write here verification. Let's consider x equal to negative 12 first. Equation is here. So I can write cube root of negative 12 plus 11 over 30 plus cube root of negative 12 plus 14 over 60 and RHS will become negative 12 plus 12 over 5. So I can write here cube root of negative 1 over 30. Here I will be writing cube root of 2 over 60 which is 1 over 30 equal to 0 or we can write negative of cube root of 1 over 30 plus cube root of 1 over 30. So LHS equal to RHS these two will get over. That means x equal to negative 12 is true solution. Now the turn of second solution negative 8. So equation I will write over there cube root of minus 8 plus 11. So this will be 3, 3 over 30 plus cube root of minus 8 plus 14. So 6 over 60 and RHS will write cube root of minus 8 plus 12, 4 over 5. Now we will cancel 3 and 30. So denominator will be 10. Here also denominator will be 10. So I can write cube root of 1 over 10 plus cube root of 1 over 10. And RHS if I will write then I can write cube root of 4 over 5. Let's multiply here with 2. So in the denominator 2. So we will get cube root of 8 over 10. Now cube root of 8 is 2. So we can write 2 over cube root 10. And LHS if I will see, I can write 2 times cube root of 1 over 10 which is equal to 2 over cube root of 10. Cube root 1 is 1. So this is our LHS. This is our RHS. So our solution minus 8 is also verified solution. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care. Bye bye.